what pressure should my pool filter be? Every swimming pool is unique, so neither myself nor anybody else will be able to answer that question for you because nobody knows how many feet of pipe did they use when they built your pool? How far is the pump located from the pool? Is it above the water level or below? What size is the plumbing? All of these things are going to change the pressure that you see on your filter. And so I can only tell you some important information about it. I can tell you that less is better. When you have a lower pressure registering on your filter, this indicates less resistance to flow. That's good. Resistance to flow isn't a good thing. That's introducing inefficiency into your system. And there's a lot of reasons why you might have that. But ultimately, lower pressure is a good thing. 30 PSI is a very important number for swimming pool equipment. You should never operate swimming pool equipment in excess of 30 PSI. If you walk outside and you see your equipment and you look at the filter gauge and it says 35 PSI, turn off your pump. It's just that simple. Turn off your pump. I mean, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify that this pressure gauge works because those pressure gauges and the filters, they break pretty easily. They don't last very long. Um, remove it from the system. It should drop back down to zero. If you remove that pressure gauge from the system and you're looking at that pressure gauge and it says anything other than zero, that pressure gauge is garbage. Go ahead and throw it out. Get a new one. They're like, I don't know, five or ten dollars. Plug it into the filter. Start it up again. If it says 35 PSI, turn it back off. The maximum operating pressure for pool equipment is 30 PSI. They build in a margin of safety. I believe they, they say that the burst rating is 50 PSI, but they also so clearly state never operate pool equipment above 30. I don't think I've ever seen a piece of pool equipment uh, with a higher rating than that. They all say no higher than 30 PSI. So let's talk about something important that I want you to know about this filter. If you're wondering about what your pressure should be I want you to know that no matter what kind of filter you have, whether it's a DE filter, a cartridge filter, or a sand filter, there is a cleaning and maintenance cycle for your filter. And when you complete your cleaning and maintenance cycle for your filter, whatever kind of filter you have, the next time you start up your pool equipment, I want you to note the pressure on your filter. This is very important. This is called your clean operational pressure and this is unique to only your swimming pool because again as i identified in the beginning of this video every swimming pool is built unique and every last part and piece of that pool will change or determine the amount of resistance to flow you have such that your system pressures will be unique to only you the neighbor on both sides of you will have a different clean operational pressure for their filter it will not help you at all to know what their numbers are. You have to know your own. And it's so important. Go ahead and write it with permanent marker right on the wall, right next to your filter. Write clean operational pressure equals, and then the PSI that's associated with it. Could be five, could be 10, could be 15, could be 20, could be anything up to, but below 30 PSI. And the reason why it has to be below 30 PSI is how do you know when you should clean your filter anyway? And the reason or the way that you know is the pressure on your filter increases above what your clean operational pressure is. So whatever your clean operational pressure is, we're going to pick a number here, 10 PSI. That's your clean operational, pre operational pressure. So when you see your filter pressure climb 15, 17 PSI, kind of that 5 to 7 range, over what your clean operational pressure is, that means it's time to clean your filter again. This is how you know it's time to clean your filter. And that's why it's so important for you to know what your clean operational filter pressure is, because otherwise you wouldn't know when to clean your filter. And that would be a problem. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.